Hey, welcome, it's KB here. So in this video, we are going to make our Windows 10 look fancy by installing a custom themes. So please watch the video before you try it. So after watching a video, you will decide whether you should install custom themes or you should not. So that's up to you. Actually, just to be purely safe, I am using a Windows 10 in virtual machine. I want to be safe just follow the video you will understand what's going to happen okay so to install a custom theme there is a very popular software called ultra ux theme patcher so this is the official website for that so I will put link in the description you can go there if you want to try you can download but before you download you can see this warning at the site this application modifies your system files. This can lead to unexpected problems or total breakdown of Windows. Please read the FAQ first for any issue. So even the developer says that this is not safe. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm using a virtual machine. So that's why I said first watch the video and then later you decide whether you want to or you don't want to install a custom theme so i have downloaded the ux theme patcher i'm about to install it so let it install and after installing it will ask us to reboot why not let's go i'm just gonna reboot my computer all right it's been around uh, three to five minutes uh, i'm stuck in this getting windows ready don't turn off your computer thingy so i may have to force this virtual machine to turn off uh, i don't know if it is the doing of ux ultra theme patcher or maybe something else so let me force this computer to turn off all right rebooting the computer again because it was stuck maybe uh, there was some update of the windows 10 and then uh, ux theme patcher was installed at the same time so that's why that caused it to stay on that boot so i don't know uh, we will know we'll know it's okay i think it will work now uh, even though we had to force our computer to reboot so now we should have ultra ux theme patcher installed now we need skins that works with ultra theme patcher okay okay something happened some command prompt line popped up for a moment so i think uh, ultra ux theme patcher is installed and um, now you know the most popular website for skins for windows 10 is skinpacks.com actually this also works with uh, windows 7 and 8 so latest is windows 10 so everybody uses windows 10 anyway okay so this is the website where you can download skin packs but be careful some of them contains viruses yes i can show you the demo because i have done some tests and uh, i don't know if i remember the name of the uh, skin that has virus so let me try to find that skin first i think one of these have a virus and the site itself is uh, i don't know very complicated visit download page okay and uh, actually every skin has two versions one is free one is paid so i don't know if you trust the free version maybe they'll push add maybe they will um, install some random software into your computer if you buy the free version even if you buy the premium who knows man who knows <laughs> okay who knows what they're gonna do okay you can see <laughs> Uh, you know it's not a like uh, it's not the antivirus doing it but you can see this file was blocked because it could harm your computer so it's actually the uh, edge browser itself telling us that this is not a safe thing that we are downloading so i'm just gonna keep it anyway oh what okay let me keep it anyway and let's see the antivirus reaction okay windows defender is still there so actually i'm gonna download a couple of them okay couple of themes 
that I like. I don't know. I don't, I don't like custom themes anyway. <laughs> this tutorial, I, I mean, this video is made for those people who wants to try, but uh, I'm just trying to say do not try because it's very risky. Okay. You don't know the developer. You don't know nothing. Okay. And custom theming, you know, virtually it's good. I mean, you can install it on virtual machine. It's okay. Even if you install it on your real computer, uh, the thing is that uh, one day the Windows 10 update will, the new Windows 10 update will come out and it will wipe some of the skin that you have installed. So uh, let me show you a few of the things. Actually, uh, let me download this one, the best one. You know, the best skin that all people are looking for is the Mac OS theme. So this is the last one that I'm gonna get. And uh, it also has the two versions, like uh, which costs, one costs money and one cost nothing, but who knows what's gonna come up with this. So, <laughs> yeah so let me too many ads get it oh actually uh, this skin pack didn't got blocked by uh, the microsoft edge okay maybe it's good one so let's try the good one first so i'm gonna double click on the file and uh, well i don't know the password yeah it's the skinpacks.com very nice so we have extracted the file we need to just double click on that and it will start installing the custom theme no oh no oh no <laughs> so see that's what i said you know my antivirus got triggered you can see the microsoft defender uh, antivirus found threats get details so actually this skin pack contains a virus and it deleted it you can see just right now this skin pack got deleted by uh, windows security antivirus and believe it or not the windows security windows defender is one of the best i i i'm sure that it is one and only free best antivirus right now you can do the uh, search on the internet what is the best inter uh, i mean uh, antivirus and people will say windows defender because it's free and actually it's pretty good so i'm gonna extract this one more time and you will see <laughs> it will just delete and some people say uh virus or anything like that is just the illusion something like that but i don't know about that but you know People have their own opinion about every single thing, but uh, it sure is a virus. You can see it got deleted again. <laughs> okay, so I have to turn off the virus, antivirus, if I want to install it. So let's uh, do that, actually, for fun. Okay, this is a um, virtual machine anyway, so it's not going to be that big of a deal if i turn off my antivirus so let's do this one more time yay <laughs> okay for the third time let's go you can see the publisher or developer is unknown that is why you know uh, <clears throat> microsoft edge browser you know blocks these themes or any software that is unknown you know but uh, our antivirus also got it so yeah, I'm going to install it just like that. And uh, it just blank out my screen. Don't worry. It won't hurt your PC like that. So we're just going to wait and uh, please wait. Okay. Wow. What? Even after I turn off? Wow. Okay. Okay. My Defender where is my defender okay i have turned it off i think it's still even if it is still like uh, dead our antivirus is still notifying us even though it cannot do anything but still trying to say that you have installed something suspicious please remove or something like that okay windows working on windows update so let it complete and let's see what happens actually did you notice something our 
uh, screen, the background uh, color of the Windows 10 is changed now. Before this, it was blue. Now it's uh, gray for some reason. I don't know why, but we will see once this gets updated. Let's just wait. Working on the update. I think this is the final one, final stage. So let it go and uh, let's witness the new macOS theme. So, yeah. Okay. But where is the dock? <laughs> I think, I don't know, something is wrong with this. There is no dock or maybe, maybe it's, it's pulling, it's pulling, it's trying its best. My windows is not activated actually. So maybe it's taking time to load up, but we got no dock. The Mac OS dock is gone or maybe it will come, come on faster. So let it load maybe, <laughs> okay. Nothing is working, so we need to uninstall this right now. So let's see how the uninstallation works. Okay, I'm gonna uninstall the theme only for now because I want to test another uh, theme. Okay, so once we uninstall the theme, this one, we should get our Windows 10 back in normal mode. <laughs> hope so, hope so. So you see, Okay, okay, so many weird things are happening. So you see, whenever you download a theme, you know, our antivirus tries to block them because it's not safe. And the, even the developer of the UX theme patcher says that it's not safe. You, you get on. The skin packs itself, okay. <laughs> our antivirus is still like, wow. Okay, let's try with the severe you can see trojan it installed trojan called this okay let's try the another theme actually just just for once um okay windows 10 uh windows 20 okay this is okay i'm gonna extract it and our antivirus is actually turned off so let me let me actually try to turn it on maybe some of these skins are not that bad <laughs> But who knows? Okay. No, it's blocking every single skin that we have downloaded. So you see, these skins are not safe. First of all, you don't know who made them. Okay. Second, the developer of UX Theme Patcher says that it's not safe. And third, yeah. Yeah. Third is, yeah, you know, rest. <laughs> what am i saying but you, you got the idea never install custom themes so we have turned off our antivirus now we're gonna do this again <laughs> okay i'm tired of it As, uh, for a moment i thought that we are gonna get like uh, something really cool good uh, theme to look at but no we haven't got any because of the antivirus, because the macOS theme didn't even work. The dock was gone. There was no dock. So, let, let's, let's try this one more time. Last time. Okay, so many things are going on here. I don't know what is happening with my computer, but everything is now transparent by default. I don't even want to know, or I don't even want to mess up with this skin. Okay, let, let me restart and let's see what happens. So by default, everything is now transparent for some reason. I don't know, but uh, that's another good thing. It's not looking good for now. I don't know. Okay, so we just got to wait to skin load up. Or maybe nothing happens. Yep. Or maybe happens. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It takes some time. You see crazy weird stuff. You know, there is a script and theme that does all of these things automatically. So everything is automated. But look at these. I think this is something that has to do with the 
transparency yeah i'm just gonna accept it and i cannot even turn this off bro i don't want to play with this so this is a theme windows they call it windows 20 theme uh well, it looks pretty good actually <laughs> yeah look at this it's pretty good i mean not good pretty cool you can even see the background from every and it's broken too oh, look at this the top is still black or something like that come on yay this one is good how about this one yeah this one is also good wow actually this is really good looking but it's not safe so i have to uninstall this so that's it guys hope you enjoyed it so point of this video was uh, you know do not install a custom themes it's not safe you know if you have any antivirus then uh, your antivirus will actually stop you from doing it but uh, it's not like the ux theme patcher the main program is not bad okay even though developer of that says that it modifies the system files and all that so you know even the antivirus doesn't stop it from being installed to the windows 10 it's okay it's uh, you know it gets installed the real problem is that the skins we don't know the developers of the skins and there is a free version and paid version and if you get the free version god knows what's going to happen with the computer even if we pay for it still the antivirus will block it because it thinks that there is a trojan virus or something like that so that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you want to try this on a virtual machine just like me then you can try i will put link in the description for the websites skinpacks.com and the uh, ux theme patcher the official websites and uh, you can go there download but please only try it on virtual machine do not try on uh, your real computer yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care yourself and have fun bye bye